We've braved the belly of the beast. We've learned that quiet isn't always peace, and the norms and notions of what just is isn't always just is. You remember that? Amanda Gorman stole the show at this year's presidential inauguration before she took the stage at the Capitol and landed on the cover of magazines like Vogue and Time. Gorman was honored as the first National Youth Poet Laureate back in 2017. Well, this spring, the arts group Urban Word announced this year's National Youth Poet Laureate. Jan Crawford is at the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Library in Washington with more on the young honoree. Jan, good morning. Well, her name is Alexandra Wen, and at 18 years old, this inspiring young woman is ready to share her ideas for making the world a better place through what she calls her superpower, poetry. It does not matter any longer where you live. From news reports on the fires in California and the floods in Vietnam. Poet Alexandra Huen is telling her story of a California childhood interrupted by climate change. The forest is a city with wildfire for veins and a steady churn of smog. And the pride she feels as a Vietnamese American. In the country my mother loves, in its naked heart. Poetry has opened up a world of possibility to this shy, rising college freshman. When Amanda Gorman was crowned the inaugural National Youth Poet Laureate, I thought to myself, oh, that's so cool. Couldn't be me, though. So you never <laughs> even day. thought, hey, maybe. No, I never thought it was possible. Drum roll, please. But in May of this year, it was her. Hailing from Sacramento, California. <laughs> it was just this overwhelming why. And I think I'm still asking myself that question. Why? Why me? Why am I here? The why starts with her parents, Dong Huyen and Tao Nguyen, who were high school sweethearts in Vietnam before immigrating to the U.S. to pursue higher education. Alex grew up with her three siblings and two working parents in Sacramento. Oh, look at that. Nice. Has it sunk in for you as a mom? I'm very proud of Alexandra, and I never would dream that I would be a mom of such a national figure like that. What does that mean to you? That means that all the hard work that we put in to raise our children pay off. Her parents say Alex has always been introverted, preferring to observe rather than speak. But as a kid, she took singing lessons. And after a while, I got kind of restless because I was thinking, why am I singing all these songs that weren't written for me that can't show the nuance of my lived experiences? I just thought to myself, well, why don't I just write what I want to see? I think poetry and songwriting has allowed me to write myself into existence and give myself a say. When Alex found her voice, she realized she had a lot to say about equality, climate change, and identity. When you talk about your identity, you wanted to show that your culture was something that was not necessary to be, quote, overcome. Yes, 100 percent. I think that in hearing my story, people might be quick to applaud me because they believe that Asian culture is stifling, especially to female voices. But I never spoke up, not because I felt like I was going to be punished. It's just that no one asked me what I was thinking. So no one asked? No one asked. And that's just a larger testament to the fact that there are so many young people who walk around with these amazing thoughts in their head. And because no one tells them that their voice matters, they don't see any point in sharing it. Yes, that could be anyone. That could mean everything. Your sister has said that she thinks that you seem so much more confident when you're performing poetry. Do you feel that? I do. When I'm on stage, I don't feel scared of messing up because I don't think I could ever forget words that I wrote myself. And as a little girl, she found herself identifying with Disney's Hannah Montana, a show about a normal teenage girl who lived a secret life as a pop star. I was really intrigued by the idea of a double life because I kind of felt like I was leading one. In my head, I was very opinionated and I always had something to say, but on the outside, I did what everyone expected me to do. And I've been trying to find a way to mesh those two halves together because it can be kind of excruciating when you feel like the person that is being perceived isn't the person that's inside of your head. Yeah, because you're not feel like you're being true to yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I think I was so drawn to Hannah Montana because she found a way to make 
to make that second identity a reality. And maybe that's what I'm doing with poetry. I'm, I'm writing my truest self in, in attempts to make it you know, my everyday self. The men on the news say climate change is a hoax. I talk back, hold the objects they inhabit, break them. Now that she has a national platform, Alex wants to reach back and make sure other people's voices also are heard. I feel incredibly privileged to be here. And I know that it took a lot of work on my behalf, but I also know that my community has put in just as much, if not more work by mentoring me and really giving me access to spaces where I felt like my voice mattered. So it's the win of my entire community, the Vietnamese American community, Sacramento. I'm just so happy to, to uplift their stories. Now this fall, Alex will study engineering at Stanford University, and she plans to use that training to put into action some of the ideas that she shares in her poetry of bettering her community and building a more sustainable and equitable world from the ground up. She also dreams of writing a book of poetry that will be translated into her first language, Vietnamese. Wow. Jan Crawford reporting and introducing us to a very graceful young voice on the American stage. We'll be hearing Absolutely. about her in the future, I'm sure. For sure. On this show, I think. In the future. <laughs>